Jeffrey's favourite girl. Me? Oh, my little puppy dog, you're still not feeling well, eh? The surgery just called, actually. I'm seeing Dr. Gadas today for my test results. Then you must go in. Now, this instant. Oh, I think I'd better stick to the appointment. No, I just want you well. Demand antibiotics. Back in the day, they handed them out like penny chews, but now, blood out of a stone. Well, there's a good reason, no doubt. Their efficacy will be affected, you well, see. Well, fortunately for you, I am fighting fit today. I shall venture into speed dial, and I shall be your knight in shining coma. Hey, see what I did there? I wonder if it's a water infection. Water infection? Uh, yes, uh, you know, cystitis. Well, I just think you're stressed. Get yourself into Gertie Gaddis, and then get back here, get on that couch and rest. Thank you. Badass the badass. One kicker out of bed. Joke. Hey, um, you'll come straight back after your appointment, eh? None of this standing around on street corners like a common fishwife doling out the gossip. Hey, Cathy, you never guess what? Have stopwatch. We'll use it. Hmm? Cathy, I'm sorry. It's OK. No, it was, it was a bit touchy. I've got, I've got a lot going on. As I've since discovered, I'm sorry to hear about Asher. Let's just pretend it never happened, eh? You and me, the disagreement. Because you can't pretend the Asher thing didn't happen because it's all over the... Anyway. How is she doing today? I don't know. You must be like the worst father in the world. Oh, don't say that. Come on, consider the evidence. Now stop beating yourself up. Glad we didn't have to deal with this sort of thing when we were young. Who are you calling old? I'm 28. Look, it was a mistake. It's forgotten. Yesterday's news. Mm. You know, I'm not so sure about that. There was this girl who once came into school with a massive love bite, and to this day, if I see her on the market, I always think, oh, where she is, spammy pammy. Pammy? Off the legging stall? Mm -hmm. Don't <gasps> say I said that. Is it? Uh, with the eye. No, that was a sister. Oh, you see? See, like, it never ends. I mean, how many years ago was this? Hmm. Oh, let me think. Can I clear anything away? Oh, um, not quite yet. Thank you, love. Cheers. How's your rasher getting on? Uh, fine, thank you. Good. Does everyone know? Oh, Dev, people are concerned. Yeah, Cathy's right. Mm. What's going to happen when she goes back to school? Let's see if I can manage to get her out the front door. I tell you what, why don't I try sending Amy around? Cheer her up a bit. Yeah, that list, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Leave it with me. Oh, what did I do to be blessed with such a perfect face? Oh, have you had your eyes tested lately? What? Oh, here he is, the sleepwalker. I don't sleepwalk. Uh, do I? I don't know what you do, Dad, but you managed to fall on me in the middle of the night, stumbling around in the dark. At least you didn't think you were the cars, eh? Ooh. <laughs> oh, this place is too cramped. Old Mother Hubbard would fit right in. What? Well, I'll be gone soon. I don't mean Old Mother Hubbard, do I? I mean the old lady who lived in a shoe. Was that dead cramped? Yeah, Daniel gets back today. Oh, great. More bodies to fill the place up when he bobs round for a brew and bangs on about Bertie. <laughs> Amy, you all right? Dad, did you leave your undercrackers lying about? Oh, shut up. Well, don't rush to see what the problem is, Tracy. Whatever you do. I'm doing my face, Peter. It's a work of art. There's no hot water. The shower is absolutely freezing. This is so unfair. But we have constant hot water. Oh, well, you go get in the shower, then. Don't talk to Grandad like that. Yes, that's your mother's job. No, she's right. Stone cold. Boiler must have broken. Great. Don't worry, I'll sort it. I'm a grown-up. Boiler engineer now, are we? Uh, well, obviously not. But I'll phone somebody. This is my house now, once Dad sells it to me. Thanks for coming in. Oh. How have you been feeling? Oh, you know, a bit run down. In pain when I'm passing water still. I was relieved when you called, actually. Did the tests show something up? Have I got cystitis? Well, 
something did show up in the tests, yes, but it's not cystitis. Yeah. And we need to speak about this, but... Oh, I probably just need some vitamin pills, but I never know if they work, but I don't... You tested positive for chlamydia. I'm sorry, what? Chlam... Chlamydia. Amy, it's so lovely to see you. Yeah, my grandma Liz said you asked me to come. Shh, must have completely slipped my mind, though. Hiya. Uh, Asha, look who's come to see you, honey. You all right? Do you want to come out with me later? <laughs> um, no, thanks. All right. Not even said where we're going to go yet. Yeah. Look, I get what you're doing, thanks, but I think I'm just going to stay in. Asha, the longer you hide away, the harder it's going to be to face everyone when you go back to school. See? Yeah, well, that's not for ages, so... Are you not even worried about that? Look, it's irrelevant anyway, because I'm not actually going to go back. Gosh, I'm sorry. I... I thought... I, yes. I must have got it wrong. Um, I thought... Chlamydia... I don't know what you call it these days. Is it, is it, is it an STD? It's an STI. No. A sexually transmitted infection. Is it? It is. But I can't have. I'm afraid. No. I've, I've only ever slept with two men in my whole life. This condition can lie dormant with no symptoms. Still, it must be a shock. Yes, well, that's, a, that's an understatement. I can see that. And if I might suggest, it is something you need to discuss with your partner. See if he's had any symptoms. Has he had any symptoms? No, I... I don't know. How could this have... How could this have happened? Oh, my goodness, could... Could it have sparked his heart problem? I mean, could it have triggered another problem with his heart? His heart problem? Yes, he has a heart... You know he has a heart problem. You diagnosed it. I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss another patient's medical history. But I'm his wife. And you need to speak to your husband. Here is a prescription for some antibiotics. And here is the number of a gum clinic. Gum? It's a genito-urinary medicine clinic. In case you want to get checked for anything else. I suggest your husband gets tested, too. I'm just not like you. I'm not done much with lads. I'm not the biker wevy eye. No, I know. But, like, you've had sex. We must have done to get pregnant. Virgin Mary never. Yeah, it's just that when Kelly told me that Corey liked me, I just thought I had to show him, you know, that I wasn't a dumb kid. Not keep him keen. I just thought everyone did it. Mm. We've uh, run out of toilet roll. Uh, yeah, I'll grab some while we're out. Oh, we're going out now, are we? Uh, is that okay? Yeah, no, of course, of course. I mean, don't take any lip from that evening and make sure she lets you take the luxury stuff. Oh, and, um, have a nice day. Thank you. See you later. Bye, Thanks. Bye, Bye, Bye-bye. Oh, hi, uh, um... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just didn't expect anyone to be there on an Easter break. Um, look, I'm a, I'm a parent and I'm trying to get a, a message to the head teacher. Yeah, I've had some dealings with the police, I'd just like to bring them up to speed. Yeah, no, of course I'm not. I'm going to a meeting. You can come with me. A meeting? <laughs> At the Weatherfield Recovery Centre. Oh. And it's a really good one. <laughs> and I don't think you've been there. Oh, I could... I'd kill for a drink right now. <laughs> That's not the answer, though, is it? Peter. Yeah? I don't need to come to a meeting with you. I'm not drunk. But you're very kind, thank you. 
Okay, well, if you need me, I am always here. Always. How did it go at the doctor's? What did she say? Is everything okay? What's Peter said to you? Is he upset you? Yaz? Yaz! Something? Doubt it. Hey. No need to be rude, is there? I'm looking for Asher. Looks like you're out for blood. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to be suspended. I thought it was the holidays. Well, the police have spoke to me and somehow the school have found out. Oh, I don't know what's happened, but they're going to see me when I get back, so... What to do with that video? Well, if they actually kick me out, where am I going to go? I mean, worried. Is it bad news? I, You've got um... cancer. Is it bowel? Brain? It's brain, isn't it? I've got an STI. A what? A sexually transmitted infection. Chlamydia. Well, and a doctor told you this? Gadas. I'm not accusing you of anything. Are you sure but... the doctor's right? I can't help but wonder how I got it. Well, it's a very good question. Looks like one of us has been unfaithful, and that one isn't me. I haven't slept with anyone apart from you. Oh, really? And yet you're knocking about the place with... What's it called again? Chlamydia? I have been faithful. Oh, and I'm meant to believe that, you disease-ridden old tart. It's not very nice. Well, it's not very nice for me, is it? When my missus comes on with the clap. No wonder you stink. What? And I know what you're going to say next, dear. You're going to bring up the escorts again. Well, I'm not the one who's been emailing prostitutes. How dare you? How dare you point the finger of blame at me? If anybody should be under suspicion, it's you! We'll get these and we'll go back to mine, yeah? Whatever you want, babe. <gasps> babe, is it? I hate that word. Your dad's gone and told the cops about me. And now someone's going to let the school know. I wonder who that was. Yeah. What do you expect when you send everyone someone else's private videos? She that? was the one that got a baptism pickle out for some bloke, not me. He wasn't random, though, was he? Salt and vinegar, ladies. Why don't you jog on back to Oak Hill? Your dad's needs to shut up about me, man. Tell him to put a sock in it. Right, yeah? that's it. I've had enough. Out. You can't come in here throwing your waist around, you know. And for your information, her dad owns this place. Go on. Jog on. All right, now. How could you even think that? Think what? That I could possibly be sleeping with someone else. When do I have the time to sleep with anyone else? But you've got the inclination. Thanks. I barely even leave the house. If I'm not cleaning and following one of your cleaning schedules, I'm at work. Well, I don't know, do I? Hmm. Coffee cream? I love coffee cream. Will you stop giving those dirty looks, please? If you haven't got a fancy man, fine. Must have been shifty Sharif. Sharif and I split up years ago. Well, he was unfaithful, I seem to recall. Putting it about all over the shop, by all accounts. Shame you never invested in a femidom. If he had infected me, I would have known long before now. <clears throat> You must have been rotten for years. Thanks. Poor. Yeah. Pre-line. And you want to know the worst thing? Muggins here is going to have to be checked out as well. Brilliant! Thank you so much for the beautiful little gift of herpes. It's not herpes. Well, I'm not an expert on STIs, am I? A thousand apologies. Now, would you please go upstairs and do some cleaning or something? Can't even look at you. And don't overspray the bathroom cleaner. Talk about trigger happy. Suppose I should offer to help Gazza, but do you know what? Can't be bothered. <laughs> Gary. 
Are you in dance? Yeah. I'm Laura, Kelly's mum. I came. Yeah, I can see that. What's your link I with... know Rick's been paying you the school fees. What, now do you know that? What, you in his pocket? Well, I want to know where he is. He's been a well now for the best part of a year. Well, he's been in touch. And he assures me that he's still providing for Kelly. Her education's very important to him. You call yourself a high-class escort agency? You're riddled with disease. Did you do refunds? Yes, you did hear it right. Look, 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 I haven't got time for this. Two things. One, I shall never be using your services again. And two, I will be invoicing you for all my medical costs. Oh, and three, get rid of Randy Rachel. Hey, babe. Dad, you need to withdraw all his complaints. You're making it worse. I told you, what did I say? Yeah, OK, I, just, I know what you said, OK, but I no, can't just say... No, you told me you wouldn't go to the police, and you have. And now this? You actually rung the school and told them about Kelly. Yes, Andy, but we need to talk about it. You can't just hide in the bedroom. Hide? Hide? It's everywhere. I'm everywhere. They're all looking at me. They're all laughing at me. There is no place to hide. Anna, but you still need to talk to the police. Or oh, do I? Oh, well, thank you. I'll be in touch. Did you hear that? Yes, you'll be in touch. No. Did you hear how much it's all going to cost? Enlighten me. The best part of two and a half grand, if I get the flu as well. As well as what? A premium boiler, thank you very much. You know, it's a day's work. Guaranteed for years, though. So that's really exciting. Well, I'm sorry to hear it's going to cost so much, but uh, don't expect me to put my hand in my pocket. Oh, I wouldn't dare, Dad. be too scared a load of moths would fly out. But it is your responsibility. Oh, yeah? How do you work that out? Well, you're the one who keeps banging on about how the house is still yours. Conversely, you've made it patently clear that the house belongs very much to you and to you alone. So, actually, Tracy, over to you. He's right. You did say that. Oh, shut your alcoholic face. What are you even doing here? Well, I've come to see me dad after I've been to the meeting. It's what families do, Tracy. They stay close. Ugh, you are so annoying. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually still studying ways to be breath on you. You know, if you really want to speak to Rick, I can make that happen. <laughs> Proper little dream maker, aren't you? What, you think this is funny, do you? Mate, this is anything but. All I've got to do is pick up the phone. But I don't think he'll be wetting himself when he finds out that you've been nicking the cash meant for Kelly's posh school, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. I doubt he'll be impressed about the mess she's in, either. Kids get themselves into scrapes all the time. What's the biggie? Well, the biggie's that she's not on the school she's meant to be at. In fact, pretty soon she might not be at any school at all. So let's get her off the streets, Laura. Yeah, let's get her back to Oak Hill. In fact, you know what I've just realised? I know exactly what he'll do when he finds out. He'll kill you. Just sort it out, Laura. Sort her out. I know you've been getting the money. And I don't want to have to tell him what's really been going on here. It's a spoiler. I've got to go, don't eat this. Ooh, she didn't look too happy. Hey, babe. You ripped her off over a bedroom cabinet or something? <laughs> Who was she? Harry.
Look at the state of this place. I bet you've been sat on your fleshy tabernacles chatting to blokes online, gagging for it, Weatherfield. That's not true. Guess where I've been? To a private clap clinic. I'm 160 quid down. My health advisor was called Mahmood. Handsome chappy, very smooth skin. You'd have loved him. What did he say? That I'm living with a goer, basically. He didn't. No, he wouldn't dare. But you could tell that's what he's thinking, because guess what? I'm team chlamydia too! Oh, let me catch those tears in an egg cup and, and drink them to see what guilt it tastes like. iPhone Sonia. Well, the 80s pop star. Cherie's partner. She told me that when Sharif walked out on her, she got herself tested as part of some health insurance scheme. She was clean. And in plain English? The infection didn't come from me. And Coronation Street's back Wednesday at 7.30. Later, Alan and the team head to Shrewsbury to build a Japanese garden for a charity supporter at 8.30 in Love Your Garden. Then can any contestants face two, three or maybe all five of our chasers? They form the best quiz team in the world in You Beat the Chasers at 9.00. Next, your coronavirus questions answered live.